Hello and welcome. I'm Helen Pecker and I'm the designer of these wedding dresses. Today we will make overbust corset. I take a pattern of the corset details, the same one that we have already made, and make a copy of the corset details. For this I use transparent paper. This is a special paper for copying the drawing of the pattern details. Then I cut out each detail of the pattern. Attention to bust dart. I cut along the green line. I close the bust dart area. I show you again and again. I glue the closed dart with adhesive tape. These are all the details of the pattern, first, second, third, fourth, and others. I remind you that the pattern consists of eight details. Now I'm making an auxiliary pattern out of cardboard. It will help me quickly and easily measure and draw seam allowances. This is a rectangle. The width of the rectangle is 1.5 cm and the length is about 7 cm. The length can be less or more than 7 as you like, but the width should be the amount of your seam allowance. I have 1.5 cm seam allowances. For the corset, I will use the satin. This is not a stretchy, non-elastic satin. And as you already understood, the next step is to iron the satin and thus prepare it for cutting details from it. I have a piece of satin 50 cm long and 150 cm wide. I fold it in half lengthwise. I lay out the details of the corset pattern. I outline the contours of the detail. And now I measure the seam allowances. I mark the bust point. Don't forget to do this. It's very important. You can mark the waist level point or not. It's not obligatory. And be sure to mark the points of the bust. With every detail I repeat the same thing. Bust point, 
here and bust point here. Details from the taffeta lining textiles are cut out using setting details and not a paper pattern. Continuation of the lesson in the next video. See you soon.